Jaime Munguia. Do you take him serious? No. Mm. Well, no. <laughs> Why not? Jaime Munguia. Mm -hmm. By the way, I like Jaime Munguia, right? And I like uh, Fernando Beltran and these guys. His resume is awful. Awful. Right? The fights that he's had recently, quite frankly, I don't want to go in too hard because I like the guy and I like the team. But he had an opportunity to fight, to move up and fight Demetrius Andre when he moved to middleweight. He said no, right? Then he went and fought nobody about eight times. Then he had, he just gone, had the opportunity to fight Janibek. for the world title and he said no like I don't know what they are doing with Jaime Munguia I think he's a good fighter I think he looks great I think he could be a superstar but it is just the worst matchmaking from Golden Boy I've ever seen what's good YouTube it's your boy KB with Just Do Boxing back with another video and if this is first time on the channel man give your boy KB his just do by smashing that like button subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell icon man come join the family so we're gonna get right into it man which i just heard was eddie hearn doing an interview with fight hub and he gave his thoughts on you know the middleweight title contender jaime Munguia, you know who's 41 and over 33 knockouts and you know he went on to say he think his the matchmaking is terrible. He don't know what they're doing with Jaime McGee. You know, his resume is just awful. You know what I'm saying? And I, I just have, have to agree with Eddie Hearn. I don't agree with a ton of things Eddie Hearn says, but I have to agree here. You know, um, Jaime McGee, simply put, man, is just being put in there with guys that he can look good against. And he's straight up padding his record. You know, he's stacking his record and he's doing it against you know, subpar, mediocre opposition, to, to, to put it, you know, kindly. And I think in the long run, it's going to hurt him. I think the way, you know, uh, Golden Boy is moving his guys is not smart at all. I think, um, you know, in the long run, they're going to they gonna do him more of a disservice than any good. I mean, we all seen what just happened. We all just seen what happened to, you know, Gilberto Ramirez. He was another one, you know, another guy that was running his record up to 40 plus and no but he wasn't fighting and challenging himself accordingly then when he got in there with a guy like Dimitri Bivo he got destroyed now with Jaime Munguia I think he's going to suffer a similar fate you get what I'm saying um he's 41 and no like I said 33 knockouts they're mainly putting him in there with guys that he could look good against and how many how many showcase fights are you going to get this guy I mean just look at his last five opponents you know in 2021 he fought Camille Sir Meta who he knocked out in six rounds he fought gabriel rosado after that who he went the distance with some say he struggled more than he should have with gabriel rosado i agree with that as as well you know then he turned around 2022 and he fought demetrius ballot who's relatively unknown and you know untested as well then he turned around after that and fought jim jimmy kelly you, you get what i'm saying a retired bills quarterback or whatever team jim kelly played for y'all know what i'm saying he fought jim kelly then he turned around fought gonzalo Correa. like i don't know these guys i know demetrius ballard but he's still untested i know gabriel Rosado, you know but he was supposed to beat him but he struggled you get what i'm saying i think out of these five fights gabriel Rosado gave him the best fight the most competitive fight and he was the only guy that wasn't knocked out you get what i'm saying so again man they're doing Jaime Munguia disservice, you know, uh, Oscar De La Hoya says one thing, he does another. Now, I'm going to say this straight up, you know, I think Jaime Munguia, if it was up to him, he would get in there with these guys. But him, what he wants and what his promoter wants are two different things. And they continuously show, you know, a lack of confidence in this guy because they don't want to put him in there with anybody with a post, anybody that could really, you know, challenge him. Now, he's turned down John back again. And a lot of people don't keep the same energy. You know, they wanted to call Demetrius Andre the duck for turning down John Beck, despite the, the low, very low purse that they were trying to give him to fight John Beck. You get what I'm saying? 
people are not keeping the same energy where is this energy for Jaime McGee who's clearly turning down fights who the hell turns down the opportunity to fight for a title time and time again meanwhile now here's the promoter games where they're clout chasing G Gennady Golovkin and Jamal Charlo he knows damn well he's not heading in that direction to fight either of those fighters in my honest opinion he gonna have to show me I just don't believe it and I believe it's, it's typical promoter games you know what I mean fight subpar opposition meanwhile calling out quality names and bigger names but never fighting them meanwhile trying to generate buzz for a mediocre fight that you're planning for your fighter I read an article where they said they wanted to run Jaime McGee's record up to 40 plus and oh before they put him in there with somebody that's that's pretty much telling me you patting his record and because of it you're going to hurt the fighter in the long run because you stunting his growth process you're not putting him in there with guys that he can test himself against and he's going to become complacent and we already seen some of that you've seen these guys have success in areas where they shouldn't have success and again you keep putting a guy in there with you know fighters that he could look good against when you finally test him he's not going to know what to do he's going to look a lot how gilberto ramirez was looking against dimitri beevil looking like a deer in the headlights and that's just my true honest thoughts i have nothing against jaime mcgill i mean he definitely is a very offensively gifted fighter you know not so much on the defensive end he is not without skill but the lack of talent and putting him in there with quality fighters is what's going to ultimately hurt him and I think his fall from grace is going to be it's going to be a tough one. It's just like Gilberto Ramirez. I, it's going to be interesting to see where he goes from here. And if anybody can't see, this must be the golden boy way. Keep putting your guy in there with fighters that he can beat, you know, stack his record up real good and then get him a money fight that, you know, more than likely he's going to lose because you haven't tested him accordingly. But that's my thoughts on it, man. Y'all get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. What's y'all thoughts on, you know, uh, Jaime McGee turning down John back again? immediately i mean read the article man this guy turned you know john and mcdown immediately and went right into cloud chasing triple g and jamal charlo and y'all let me know what y'all think do y'all really think jaime mcgee is going after triple g and jamal charlo or is he doing a typical clout chasing promoter games and as always get in that comment section and let me know if i gave these boys their just do because that's what i do over here at justice boxing to the next one i'm out peace